how to troubleshoot a fully enclosed hydraulic magnet. Before disassembling, ensure the magnet is positioned on a secure level surface, properly turned off, and that all hydraulic lines are properly shut off and depressurized. Additionally, make sure to have a safe and appropriate lifting method in place to remove the top cover of the magnet. Welcome back to the Moly Magnetics educational video series. Now we've got an exciting and informative episode lined up for you. We'll be getting into the basics of troubleshooting our hydraulic magnets and learning how to troubleshoot them like a pro. If you've ever wanted to know how to fix these magnets, when they act up, you're in the right place. Let's get going. Now before we get our hands dirty, let's talk tools. Having the right equipment is half the battle. You will need the following tools. A 5mm Allen wrench, 13mm open end wrench, 8mm socket with ratchet, a 1 and a 16th wrench, 1 and a quarter inch wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, pry bar, rubber mallet, multimeter, parts tray, and most importantly, wear your PPE. Now it's time to get going. We're going to guide you step by step on taking apart a hydraulic magnet. Remember, patience is the key. Carefully remove the screws from the three pin cover plates with a five millimeter Allen wrench. These covers protect the pins that allow you to remove the top. Next use the five millimeter Allen wrench to remove three viewing panel covers. Next, use a 13 millimeter wrench to remove the two bolts holding the retaining clip in place. Slide the three pins out. Using a pry bar can be useful to work the pins out. Next, disconnect two hydraulic lines by unscrewing the hose from the bottom of the bulkhead fitting. Now the cover is ready to be lifted off, but can't be done by one person. Use an appropriate and safe lifting method. Remove four 8mm nuts and four Phillips head screws from the yellow control box cover. The magnet has been disassembled and is now prepared for inspection. Refer to part two for further instruction. 